Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and I am back. I was actually thinking on when is the right time to be back, and I think this is it. Um, I think this trailer needs more of a breakdown on what it has and what we are, you know, expecting to get out of this new version trailer. So, without further ado, guys, I will start this trailer. I'll be pausing um in in certain bits of the trailer and probably give my thoughts on what i feel and what i think of this trailer so let's start off to be honest they have they have the right formula here um the right formula in terms of how they are producing these videos number one as you can see and how they're designing their new characters uh let's pause on that they're designing them differently now based on when we started last july up to now if i just may compare i'd like to open um exhibit a so the designs before were were mad they, they, they were so bland they were so I, i'm gonna say this word they were so conservative that it had to you know we had to put on skins on them for them to be you know to be playable okay so again they're in the right they're, they're they now have the right type of design basically for for their um characters and as you can see, even the skins have a different design now. So, again, I won't delve into this part. Let's go on. But again, the new skins, the right formula, the base skins are different now. And let's move on to Katya, which I want to highlight in a bit. So, as you can see, same gameplay, but... Sometimes it's a bit distracting. As you can see, she tells me to hush. So it's going to be a bit distracting playing with all of these things going. So let me pause on that. You've seen Katya on how she is designed right now. Okay, let's pause on that, on that thought. Let me bring up Exhibit B. She looks this way before. <laughs> She's still the same, actually. If you just look at the head, if you take a look at the headshots for for this game, she's still the same. Okay, but down there, it's really different. This is more of a tactical suit, which is more operational. The brand new suit, which I assume this was her four-star phase. Now she is in her five-star phase. As you can see, again, if they put this out, as an option, this would be great because there are some players who still want this skin despite having the current one right now, which is this one. Um, I like this more, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But again, if they have that as an option, the older skin, probably her four star, you know, four star look, then it would be good. This weapon, by the way. It's going to be a crossbow. She's going to be wielding a crossbow. And for her crossbow, guys, it's going to be... It's speculated to have unlimited ammo, but it will have to have an overheat mechanic. So we're not getting a sniper. Um, more or less, this is this is from what I saw. Okay, I just want to put out a disclaimer there. This is not final. The, my word is not final. These are just my thoughts and what I've read and what I've seen. So we are receiving a new class, uh, which is a crossbow. So hopefully we could have more crossbow um, characters in the future. But I think this is, is a great step in the right direction. So both the design of the base character, the skins are perfect, which also, also brings me to the new weapon type, which is a crossbow. So again... Going back to my title, they are actually on the right way, but they're kind of slow yet. But 
I know they'll catch up. They'll catch up. So after this, I'm still hoping for more permanent content from the game. I cannot really concentrate. So my question is, why didn't they, you know, do this in the beginning? Why didn't they put all these designs in the beginning? Um, why? Why now? Why now? Why the conservative look before? Why now? Um, let them answer that. Probably comments in the comment section. But at this point, I'm just happy that they're catching up. If they continue on this path, I think they're on the right track. So just a bit, you know, just a bit, uh, you know, balance everything with the in innovations in the design plus probably a little bit more, you know, coverage. <laughs> they are actually on the right track. Okay, so we'll go to this girl in a while. And who is she? She's new. She's a new five, four star. She's a new NPC. I think she's a new NPC. We'll discuss that later. So again, um, default skins are very good. Let's go to the skins. You're going to be curious on the skins because there are a lot of skins to talk about. So this is, again... Katya, she's she's the star. She's gonna bring back a lot of players for this game, I'm sure. With that leg, that robotic leg. Anyway, she's gonna bring back a lot of players in this game. With her, I wanted her in the first place to come. I thought she was a four star. Just so wanna you know pause. I thought she was a four star when they launched um, Absconditus. I thought she was going to be the four star, but she was an NPC, but now she's a five star. So I'm happy. I'm so happy. New outfits, by the way. So this is going to be Katya's. So graceful Dansus. So this is this skin will be the highest paid skin um, around $20. Probably again, guys, this is just speculation on what I've seen in the past and what I see now. So this is roughly the twenty dollar skin, the one twenty one twenty eight bit gold category because she's the main focus of this update. So let's move on. This one for Hush. Um, I'm gonna be discussing three. Um, the next three will either be the ten dollar sixty eight bit gold, um, you know, bit gold skin. Or the advanced pass. One of them is going to be in the advanced pass because there's usually a skin in the advanced pass. So the first one is going to be Hush, definitely. So she's going to be either paid by Bitgold or she's going to be in the shop. I don't know, not the shop, the, adva the advanced pass. This one is Kaguya. So this, this skin is actually nice on her. Kind of bit spicy um spicier than before than the previous one so again good job devs and this one is again one of the three so you have hush you have kaguya you have abscoditus with either ten dollar 68 bit gold skins or they're gonna be in advanced pass so I think she's going to be an advanced pass. For me, I think she's going to be in an in advanced pass. This is my opinion. Okay. But I just want to say that this skin of hers should have been her default skin. <laughs> this should have been her default skin. There's nothing wrong with the current one, but this should have been the default skin. Now that we know that Katja's default skin is Vava Vum. This should be default. So let's go back to the full video for Abscunditis skin. As you can see, this should be the default skin, guys. <laughs> I can't say anything. This one, Fenny. This one is for her four star. If you can remember, again, this is for her first four star default. This is her torn uniform version which is similar to um what we had already a uh, what we had already for our sniper 
Um, again, this I think will be available in the shop under choice products. Uh, I think this will be the permanent skin in the shop. So under choice products, if you can see, there are there's a skin there for our sniper, uh, Yao. And I think this will be added to that. I hope they add more skins to the permanent shop because that is going to be a crazy good thing. Okay, so again, what could go wrong with those skins? Nothing. So here are new logistics. So of course, with a new character, new logistics come in. Apparently, there these are usually aimed at giving a better, you know, synergy with a new character. Gameplay. This one is kind of not a new gameplay this is old we've we've we already had a turret play in the previous um update or the current one so probably a new boss which is this one which is kind of different and weird okay so but we'll be doing battle in a grand ballroom perhaps other new content, which I must say, I was kind of shocked. We'll go to that in a while. This part. I thought she was, gonna, she was going to kiss him. I really thought that. But it didn't happen. So, anyway. So, these are the new areas. New boss. It's an AI, I think. Orlo Mansion, new areas. The Easter egg hunt in on, on the island was actually a great thing to add. I just want to go through the areas first, new areas. The Easter egg hunt in the island was really great, you know, take. Other good take was also um, the um, open worldness of the map. So I hope we have it again here. Um, if I might suggest, if the devs are listening, um, Capture the Flag is actually one of the best type of games for co-op. I'm, I'm not sure why you haven't done it yet, guys. But Capture the Flag is going to be... Capture the Flag and defending it for X number of minutes is going to be, you know, it's going to be perfect. So, um, that those are my takes. So, we are nearing six months, guys, for this game. I just hope that they would give more to the community as we reach our sixth month. And I'm going to be pausing on this because, again, who is this girl? I think she's going to be an NPC. She's actually carrying a... What is this? Submachine gun? Submachine gun. I think so. So, who is this girl? Comment down in the comment section if you know who she is. Probably she's a new NPC for the game. But again, these are my thoughts, guys. I'm not sure who she is. But those are my breakdown of the whole trailer or video. I can't get enough of the intro for this game. With that said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Um, well, she made me come back. So that's it. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.